welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emma and damn, it has been a hot minute since I made my first and previous video. It has been honestly about like six months and I have had so many friends, family, co-workers say that they had fun watching that video and they'd love to see another one and I've just been so busy. So much has happened over the past few months. I changed jobs. I moved house and yeah, I had the Christmas and holiday period. So yeah guys, sorry for not posting in so long. I really want to get back into it more so hopefully this is the start of something new. The start of something new. So I thought maybe it's time to finally do another video for everybody and myself. But you're probably wondering what my video that I'm here about this time is. I used this rosehip oil by Sukin. I used this product for a week to see how my skin healed from a hormonal period. And I used this product to see what sort of benefits it could have for my skin as rosehip oil is said to have healing properties like redness reduction. It's said to help heal your scarring and like skin pigmentation and darkening. Also help to brighten your skin, help with aging, help reduce wrinkles um, and also just be a really good moisturizer for your skin. So yeah, come along with me in this journey to see me try this product every single day for a week. So when this clip goes back, you will see me at the start of the week and what condition my skin was in. Okay guys, so it's currently Friday the 28th of February. I have cleansed my face and then I did use a hydrating facial mask by Sukin. Just did a mask because I haven't in a while and I just am feeling so gross about my skin lately. And my skin is good all month round and then it just gets to that time of the month and this happened but I recently got the Fenty Beauty hydrating makeup which is so good um, but it's like keeps leading to pimples and I don't know if that's my skin reacting to the makeup or if my skin routine and cleaning process isn't rigorous enough to clean that heavy amount of makeup off my face that my face isn't used to. So I just want to try rosehip oil today and maybe for the next week so my face is clean and I'm just going to go straight in with these drops. Um, so this is day one of me applying this rosehip oil. So, one, oh gross. Two, look like I'm crying wee. And three. I'm gonna rub that in. Gently massage. Something to note is that I have pretty normal to sometimes dry skin if I don't moisturize. So rosehip oil is pretty good oil for me to try out for my skin type because I'm not already naturally oily. I wonder if it'll dry down at all because it does feel kind of heavy. Sink into my forehead, rosehip oil. It's looking pretty nice, fresh. It makes me look a bit dewy, like I've got a natural glow, natural highlight. However, to you, I could look like I've just ran around the block and I'm sweating because that's all I'd have to run to be sweating like a pig is around the block. So I'll check back in tomorrow morning, see if any of this redness goes down. Give you a nice close up shot because why not? Why would you not want to see that? Ooh. Come back tomorrow and see if that has gone down at all. Morning guys! So it is the day after my first day of trying the rosehip oil on my face. I put it on last night before I went to bed and I've pretty well just woken up. I had a good sleep in. So it is the second day on the 29th of February 2020 and it is a leap day. And I went and cleansed my face and from first glances I feel as though 
the redness has gone down quite a bit and yeah I don't know if that's just like the healing process because I did get a good sleep or if it was genuinely the rose hip but either way I feel like in terms of its healing properties that it's said to have I feel like they have really dried out the pimples so that's good it doesn't hurt as much today and they're not quite as bright red but I don't know how well you can see so I'll bring you in man I've got some dark circles under my eyes Cool, so I'm feeling good, feeling pretty positive. I'm gonna apply it this morning again and go the whole day wearing it and see how it goes. All right, so one, two. Let's just do like a half of a one. Oh, that's a full one. <laughs> it is really hydrating and it does make your skin feel really nice. I'm just not somebody that has a lot of oil sit on their face oftenly so it definitely is a bit of a difference for me let's see it just makes your face look really glowy like you've fresh but yeah this is the morning of day two and i'll see you tonight after my day is done good morning guys it is day three of me doing the rosehip oil on my face i didn't check in last night because i had a really busy day with my nieces all day and the minute i got home quite late i just went straight to bed this one's just gonna be a quick one because i'm off to work today so i'm just gonna just do my two because i don't think three is right for me i just think three is a bit too oily all the redness has gone down on my face pretty well other than this one spot above the eyebrow there and my skin has been feeling quite soft and moisturized um, but I'll bring you in for a nice close-up so yeah not as intense all right guys have a good day and I'll see how I go with time if I can check in tonight otherwise I'll see you tomorrow morning bye Okay guys, it is Monday the 2nd of March. It has been a while since I've come on here and talked about things properly because I've been so busy. I've had family here from the Philippines for the first time ever visiting Australia, so that's been so much fun. And with being so busy, I've just like flown in here, just done it, and then haven't really talked too much about how I'm feeling about the rosehip oil. So I thought I'd just come on here and give you a bit of an update on what I think of the product. It's day four of using this Sukin rosehip oil. And I have to say, I'm really quite happy with this product. It's definitely in four days, I've had a massive change in my skin redness, my like raised skin, the pain of the pimples. Um, you know what, like I actually genuinely am really, really happy. I am just a bit unsure because I have also finished that time of the month. I have also practiced really rigorous skincare routines morning and night. I've also watched quite strictly what I've eaten and drunk a lot of water. So I do feel as though the results over the past four days have been an accumulation of several different things that I've adopted into my daily routine. I'll bring you in again so that you can see what I'm left with a little bit clearer. So this is my head now. It's definitely far less red. I have noticed this spot and now this spot. They've also come up over the past few days. Maybe I'll apply this to my cheek and see if it helps. We've come a long way in four days, haven't we? But yeah, it's it's more the darkness of the skin that I'm left with that I am left with for quite a while. So for example, this mark here in particular, this one right here, this was a pimple that I got last period. Last period. And I still have the scarring from it. 
And then this pimple was about the exact same size this period and it healed quicker than the last one and it already looks lighter than the last one but it's funny yeah the pimples aren't necessarily the thing that I struggle from healing from it's more the scarring I think I will come back tomorrow night let you know how that scarring has held up and you know what if I'm not done editing this video in a week from tomorrow when I finish up a week of trying this out then I will come back and do like a week forward review on how the scarring heals so anyway I guess I should finish up this night really quickly by adding this to my face I nearly forgot let's go one big one on my forehead maybe a decent one on that side that feels good the small amount that I used on that side feels nice and moisturizing and not like overwhelmingly oily but anyway i'll see you tomorrow morning where we can spend a bit of time doing my makeup morning guys it is officially day five in my tri rosehip oil for a week experience and it'll probably be my last day doing this it has been really interesting very insightful using this little Sukin Rosehip Oil product. I've had lots of fun trying it out. It's gone really quick if I'm being honest. But yeah, this is my face on day five. And I'll bring you in so you can see how my skin is looking. All the redness has gone down. All the raised skin and bumps from the pimples have gone down. So I will continue to use this and see how my skin scarring and pigmentation continues to heal after this. See if it takes less than a month than what it usually does. Probably every second or third day maybe um, and definitely less because I'm just not used to having oil on my face. I've never had oily skin and sometimes when going to bed and stuff it can feel a little bit claustrophobic I don't know and it's not the most amazing smell either I think I might leave it at that I'm going to apply it for the last time today and then I will apply makeup over it to finally show you guys what it looks like when you wear makeup over the top and then I go to work today for a few hours and then I can check in later tonight after wearing makeup pretty well for the whole day and show you how it wears So that's the oil applied on my face and I'm just going to go in with some foundation over the top. It makes it like nice and smooth and a bit of like a barrier on the skin I feel. Okay guys, my makeup is officially done and I have put it over top of the rosy oil that I applied just before. So yeah, it is pretty good. It lays nice and even. It's not like too oily, however I do feel like applying rosy oil and then applying your foundation does make you have to put quite a fair bit more of makeup on. I feel like I don't know, it seems as though the makeup doesn't spread out on your face and one dollop of makeup doesn't go as far as what it would if you're just wearing regular moisturizer. Uh, that might be something where I might stick to regular moisturizers and just use this maybe as a night routine every second or third night. But yeah, this is my face today. I'm gonna go finish getting ready for the day and I will check back in with you later tonight once my day is pretty well over to show you how my makeup remained on during the day with rosehip oil as my base. Okay guys, it is the fifth day, well the fifth night of me using the Sukin rosehip oil um, on my face. This is my face after wearing my makeup for nine hours or so now. So yeah, my makeup has actually lasted quite well on my face. I feel as though my makeup doesn't maybe suck into my face as much as what it usually would when going to work the whole day. I notice once I get home my makeup has gone dull. But yeah, it's 9pm and I feel like it's on pretty good. I am feeling good. 
but I still definitely need to go wash this all off so that I don't get more pimples on my forehead. Um, maybe I'll bring you in so you can see how they're looking with makeup on. So it's my forehead. It's looking pretty good. But yeah, this has been my week of using the Zucan Rose Hip Oil on my face. So that's it guys. It is officially one week after me filming that video and I haven't gotten around to editing it or doing anything with it. So I thought I might just film a little bit of a video tonight. But yeah, this is my skin one week after using the rosehip oil. So much smoother. Not red raw, you literally can't even see that I had any pimples of any kind underneath my makeup. So this is my forehead where most of the redness originally was and you can hardly see any pimples. There's no redness, there's no lumps and bumps, little bit of darkness here and there that's kind of poking through but even without makeup on that's hardly there. I'm so happy with the result of my skin. I know I should have shown you without makeup on but I just quickly thought I'd film this but pretty well underneath my makeup, take my word for it. My scarring is so much lighter so I'm really impressed I'm really happy what do you guys think do you think my skin was brightened lightened looks more hydrated less red obviously less scarring let me know in the comments below and once again thank you for watching I'd appreciate it so much if you could help me grow my YouTube channel so I can do more awesome videos like this so if you could like and subscribe to my channel and if you want you could also follow me on Instagram which I believe is at Emma Lily underscore makeup where I hopefully will also become more active and present on there as well thanks again guys for watching see you next time